More than three quarters of the poor people in the world are farmers. They're faced with a very tough problem. They have to grow enough food to feed their family every year. When you think of digital technology, you don't think of measuring soil moisture. You don't think about helping people know when to plant or understand what's going wrong on their farm. But if we can make these sensors small enough, cheap enough, then the chance to get this down to more and more farmers, get them additional productivity, it's pretty exciting. We're taking this data and we built machine learning and AI models to do two things. One is virtual sensor prediction. So we are predicting things like leaf wetness, evapotranspiration, and solar radiation. We use the data to customize the model for the farm, and we are getting very accurate results for each one of those. These sensors use a new type of connectivity that's very inexpensive it's called TV white spaces. TV white space is unused bandwidth in between the TV broadcast channels. Governments are now allowing this bandwidth to be used to transmit data. In this case, it's the data coming from the field that goes back to the computers that helps create the best advice to the farmer. What you're seeing here is a TV white spaces router. This is like your Wi-Fi antenna at home, powering all of this through solar panels. You just power this on and you get Wi-Fi on demand in the farm. We use it to send drone imagery. Once the flight is complete, it'll start transmitting the data over the white spaces to do precision map generation. Whoa. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the leaves. Any data you can get to farmers can make a huge difference. The weather is always highly variable. Deciding should they invest in fertilizer, when do they plant, understanding which crop would be the right one at this time. Even 20% more productivity means that they can afford school fees, save a little bit for a tough year, you know, climate change is going to make the farmer's job a lot harder. And just closing that yield gap, even a modest amount, would make a huge difference for all those farmers.